Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course to learn how to design soil-supported mat foundations using RAM concept. The third step required to design your mat foundations in RAM concept is to perform the calculation and appropriately set your calculation options. If a mat foundation is flexible or if there are large overturning loads, the springs may initially be resisting tension. You can reduce this tension by iteration. In the next exercise, you will learn how to enter the following calculation options and perform the calculation by setting up your iterations to use, which is the number of iterations used in calculation, the acceleration power in this option is typically set to 1.0, and the maximum allowed acceleration. Before designing our mat foundation, we must first specify the appropriate criteria. In the criteria menu, select the calculation options. Here we can select several pieces of general criteria, including whether or not you want to auto stabilize the structure in the X and Y directions. You can create viewable self dead loading. You can include supports above the slab in self dead loading. You can include the tendon component to punt in the punch check reaction. And you could check the capacity of user reinforcement without designing additional program reinforcement. This option is especially useful if you are designing an existing mat foundation and you've gone ahead and specified user reinforcement as the existing reinforcement. We can also specify our design code and here we'll be using the ACI 31811 and our live load reduction code. And here we will go ahead and select the IVC 2009. We can also specify our zero tension iteration values and we'll keep all the default values specified and the reinforcement layout and detailing parameters. After we've entered all of our calculation options, we can go ahead and click OK. Now, since we selected a different design code than what was previously selected for this particular file, we should rebuild all load combinations and design rules. Here, we need to select our structure type, and we'll go ahead and select Matte Foundations, and we'll also tell it to rebuild the design status plans also. After we enter all the appropriate calculation options, we are now ready to perform the design. Up in the standard toolbar, we will now click on our Calc All icon to invoke the design. After the design is complete, we will then click on the Save icon and review our results. After the mat foundation is designed, we are ready for our final step in our workflow, which is to review the results. We have several pieces of results that are available for mat foundations, including your design status results, your maximum soil bearing pressure information, and the user and program reinforcement that has been assigned to the slab. The first three results we are going to review immediately after the calculation is performed is the design status plans. In your menu bar, navigate to the layers menu and then select design status followed by status plan. 
Now, in concrete design, it is possible for a concrete member to fail or exceed code limitations, regardless of the amount of reinforcement provided. For example, if the shear demand of a concrete member exceeds the code allowable shear capacity, RAM Concept will report a code violation. Now, if we increase the text size, we can see that every single design strip or punching check that you created will be given a status, and for this particular model, every one came out OK. So we have passed the design status for this model. The next set of results that will be very important for designing mat foundations is to review the maximum soil bearing pressure plants. Again, back in your layers menu bar item, we will now select Rule Set Design, and we'll find a soil bearing design option all the way at the bottom, and we'll select the max soil bearing pressure plan. And here we can see that RAM Concept has indicated the maximum soil bearing pressures. And of course, we have a legend indicated here, and you can refer to your geotechnical plan to make sure everything is within the code allowable soil bearing pressure. Next, we'll review the program reinforcement that was developed as a result of the calculation. In your Layers menu bar item, you will now select Reinforcement. We have several different plans available, and we'll first review the top bars plan. Here we can see all of the reinforcement that is currently indicated in yellow, and this is program reinforcement. It is generated by RAM Concept, which will be in addition to any specified user reinforcement, which for this model we don't have any user reinforcement detailed at this time. When a calculation is performed, though, the program reinforcement will be removed, a new program reinforcement will be generated, and the user reinforcement will be unaffected. So here we can see our top bars plan, and we also have a bottom bars plan available as well. On each of the reinforcement layers in RAM Concept, you also have the ability to detail user reinforcement. User reinforcement will be generated by you using various layer-specific tools or by changing the program reinforcement to user reinforcement. Then, when a subsequent calculation is performed, RAM Concept will only design reinforcement that is required in addition to the reinforcement tagged as user reinforcement. We also have an option through the calculation options to only design for user reinforcement in the design, so that would be a convenient way to investigate the design of existing MAP foundations. To detail your own user reinforcement, we have several different tools here available in the layer specific toolbar to detail either distributed or concentrated user reinforcement. For this exercise, we'll use the distributed reinforcement cross and perimeter tool to detail distributed reinforcement in each direction on each face of the slab. Before modeling the user reinforcement, we will go ahead and double click on this tool to define all of our properties. Currently, we are on the bottom bars plan and we'll so go ahead and set the span set to latitude and enter in bottom cover. Then we are at an elevation of three inches and you can enter the end at end one and end two, and we'll leave both of those set to straight. We can enter the slab face per elevation reference. The bar type, we'll go ahead and select number sixes at 12 inches on center, and of course it's being designed by the user. Once we enter in all of our default distributed reinforcement properties, we'll go ahead and click OK, and now we're ready to detail our reinforcement. For this model, we would like the reinforcement to be showing up perpendicular to each other in the directions. In order to ensure that that happens appropriately, we're going to go ahead and select the snap to orthogonal icon. This will make sure the reinforcement is exactly in the 90 degree or 0 degree direction. Once we select our appropriate snap tools, I'm going to go ahead and click anywhere within the slab, and then I'm going to click at a point. 90 degrees from that first point. And here you can see I've created some user reinforcement. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the top bars plan. So I'm going to go ahead and select my reinforcement top bars plan tab already available in my active window. And I'm just going to double click on this tool again because I need to redefine the properties. 
And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to select top cover and I'm going to give it a top cover of two inches. All the rest of the parameters I'm going to leave the same. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to repeat the same process. And first I'm going to select my same snap tool. I'll click anywhere within the slab and then another point 90 degrees away from that one. After specifying my own user reinforcement, I'm going to go ahead and re-perform the calculation. When the calculation is performed, all of the previous program reinforcement will be removed, and then new program re will, reinforcement will be added if required. So I'm going to go up to my standard toolbar and click on my Calc All icon. After the calculation is performed, you can see that there are a couple of isolated areas that will still need a little additional added program reinforcement. But our reinforcement plan has been greatly simplified as a result of detailing our user reinforcement. And we can see those results on the top bars plan and also again on the bottom bars plan. Now at this point, you are done with your entire workflow for designing a matte foundation in RAM concept. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.